that have come by and taken pictures of my truck several times now. Several times now they've come and taken pictures of my truck. Once again, they're screwing with me. I've never done anything to these people. I haven't been reported to the county by anybody. Nothing like that. But they keep screwing with me. She's standing behind her truck right now. She's taking numerous pictures of me. I don't know what's going on. This is the same lady that was harassing my family that I got video of over at their house following me over there and following me around my neighborhood. These are the same lady that tried to put violations towards us. Now, I'm in a job site on the completely other side of town. And there she is again. This will be the fifth video now. It, they're like, it's a coincidence. It's a coincidence that she's literally at every fucking job site that I go to on different sides of town altogether, miles and miles away from each other on a daily basis. It's a coincidence that her supervisor says that she just happens to be at every one of my job sites taking pictures of my truck. That That's not coincidental. That's called harassment. The county's harassing me. This is what I'm going through. They were also um, defaulted on property taxes in Charlotte County and put them in my name. I've never owned these properties. I've never even lived at three of these properties. <laughs> I don't even know where two of them are. I've never been to them, never seen them, never talked to anybody that owns them, never done a job at them, nothing. Um, but they've sent creditors after me. There's three different creditors coming after me for four different charges for Charlotte County for property taxes on properties that aren't mine. This is how far they're going to screw with me, okay? They've also, I'm supposed to have 10 years to pay off fines and fees that I have with the Charlotte County court system. They've defaulted on every fine and fee that I've ever had in my entire life all in the same week. But this is all coincidental, right? The county just happens to be defaulting on every single thing I've ever had, threatening to suspend my license if I don't give them thousands of dollars. So this is this is legal um, extortion is what this is. It's legal extortion. They can extort you by saying they'll take your business license and your driver's license if you don't give them what they want. That's fascism at its best. Um, if, if, you've, if you've followed my channel for a long time and you followed my TikTok, you know how famous I got on TikTok, um, then you know my situation, you know I had to plea out in distress, you know I have absolute evidence that states I didn't do what they said I did, but I still got charged with it because they have what's called 1129 in the state of Florida, they can't hold you in a county facility for more than 11 months and 29 days, they had me in there for 16 months. So they gave me an ultimatum in court. They even asked the judge to step out of the quarters. They said, we'll either, either make sure you get 15 years in prison or you can take 18 months. What? That doesn't even make sense. How do you go from 15 years? How do you go from 105 years to your first offer of five years? How do you cut 105 years to five years if you have evidence on somebody? You know what I mean? On the first, on the first offer. That's unheard of, especially with the, the state prosecutor I had. What a corrupt piece of shit he is. Um, there's been all kinds of FBI investigations against this guy, and nothing's been done to him. He's been proven to be fraudulent and work against people, specifically because he gets... You know, state prosecutors get paid to put you in prison. That's literally their job. They get a bonus check for every person they put in fucking prison. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. There's no justice in America. Okay, for any of you that think someone going through a, a court system is getting justice, that's bullshit. There's no justice. Okay, they, the judge doesn't even look at your evidence, ever. He just goes off what the lawyers say. He doesn't look at your evidence, and if you don't have a boss-ass lawyer, you're fucked, man. Because a lawyer won't work for you, you know, unless you have a boss-ass lawyer that actually gives you shit about people, which is very, very few and far between when it comes to, uh, lawyers. Um... I spoke to a, a lawyer not too long ago. They said, man, yeah, man, I'm a big constitutionalist. I believe in the Constitution. I'm like, awesome. I've got some civil rights cases I need to take care of. Of course, he's not willing to do anything. Um, 
doesn't want to ruin his reputation. So will Scott Weinberg doesn't want to ruin his reputation. But he's a great constitutionalist that won't sacrifice anything for this country, right? Um, I've got all kinds of lawsuits I can be putting against the county right now and the state, but I can't find anyone that'll work the case. So, um, you know, Project Veritas, we can really use you down here. We got all kinds of corruption in our county. All kinds of corruption in our county, man. I love you guys. Be blessed.